They are still on strike, vowing to hold demonstrations in Embu town to push for their unaddressed grievances. Speaking after meeting with Embu Union officials, Kenya Union of Clinical Officers General Secretary George Maroa said that the union will not relent until the government fulfills their demands. Among their complaints is the stagnation in one job group for more than 10 years that she termed as a dubious contract. As you all know, that the clinical officers are on their strike doing day 83. And uh, this is after issuing a, a seven day a strike notice, which was issued on 25th of March. And the failure to address our issue, we began our strike on 1st April. And we are still on strike. So today here we were meeting our members because we are planning also the regional demonstration that will be happening here in Embu, uh, focusing to do it either on Monday or Tuesday once we agree with the, the police because we want them to give us the notice. Instead of the employer listening to us, they have uh, uh, moving into intimidation. And that is why you find that some of the facilities are running. But I'm glad the GS has come and uh, he, he has come to ascertain that the strike is still on and those that had already gone back to work, they have been recalled back to the strike. Sisi haja yetu ni tupatie mwananchi wa Embu County Uduma ambaye inayafaa kwa kazi. Na pia mimi ni mawambia it is ungodly kupata pesa ambaye inafanya kazi. So kama utaki kufanya kazi, pia usitake kuwa na mshara. So it, it's supposed to go that way. In a region that is regularly affected by banditry, cattle rustling and human wildlife conflict, the Ustaimilivu project known as the Community Conservancies Model is yielding remarkable results in West Pokot and Trikana counties. The initiative, backed by a 540 million Kenya shillings European Union investment, has not only tackled these challenges head-on, but also empowered local communities to weather climate shocks.